So thank you all for being here today. Our mayor, Benjamin, could not be here today. And of course, uh, I'm standing in his stead. Thank you for being here. Thank you for allowing this dream to fester and grow and metastasize. Thank you so very, very much. Uh, CEZ and David Dunn's amazing. And I think it, I think because it is amazing, we ought to do what we do in church sometime. Let's give ourselves and Mr. Dunn a great big hand. David, we are appreciative. We are overjoyed that you've moved in a direction where this city of ours continues to feel the effects of growth and expansion. You've allowed us, David, to sense and to feel what it means to really put your words into action. Thank you so very, very much. A former member, board member of CEZ, and I think Felicia is probably overjoyed that she has, she has sort of ushered us in to a new dynamic in our city. Van, Ro Van Robotic, Robotics, thank you so much. We got some folk coming to work. Is that right? That's right. And that's good not only for Van Robotics, but it's good for our city. So again, thank you. Thank you for cutting the ribbon of a new paradigm. The paradigms have shifted. And we are thankful and grateful for what's going to happen and to take place. When you get a chance, if you have not spoke to David, if you say anything to him, just say, thank you. Thank you so much. Hi, everyone. Thanks so much for being here. We are thrilled and beyond excited to be part of this. We are so grateful to David Dunn for this amazing gift to the Columbia Empowerment Zone. Um, just a few words about our journey. We started a couple of years ago here in Columbia. Um, we had just a few employees. We had four employees. Um, we got started building robots. We got started with a few schools here and there. We're now in over 25% of the school districts in South Carolina. We're in 33 states and we're in seven countries across the world. Um, so we have grown tremendously in the last couple of years and this feels like a graduation to a really important next chapter in our company. So we're thrilled to be able to share that with everyone here today, and especially um, to, to really honor the space that David Dunn has donated and where really amazing things um, really were born for VC3. So thanks so much. We appreciate the gift and we appreciate the opportunity. I want to start by thanking Felicia and, and the CEZ for this ceremony, but, but really I, I want to apologize for the name on the suites. Um, they they didn't ask me, and I, 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 when I heard about it, I, I I didn't realize that was the final name. So when I when I asked about it, they said the sign was already printed. That's all they could do. So here here we are. But um, the suites really aren't about me. I I, I want to talk a little bit about the company uh, that started here and and really made it possible for me me to donate these to the CEZ. So uh, it was our first headquarters for VC3. And um, at the time, we were about four or five employees. It was in 96, I believe. I can't, can't remember the exact amount. Uh, now, VC3 is pushing 200 employees, uh, 100 of which are almost 100 of which are here in Columbia, South Carolina, most working out of that office at New Headquarters, which is on 1301 Gervais Street, the tower. So uh, you know, we've, we've had a lot of growth. We've got offices in um, Atlanta, Raleigh, Memphis, we have clients leading a lot, most, most of the southeast, but also as far west as Nevada, as far north as uh, Vermont, and as far south as Florida. For a company that has to do a ha lot of hands-on touching, uh, that's a challenge, but we, we tend to centralize everything here in Columbia. Um, so in, in addition to VC3, 
Uh, about three years ago, while I was while I was still CEO, we spun out a company called Cognito. It's located, if you, if you go up and down Gervais, you should see a sign for them, a product called Cognito Forms. Everybody here should use that product. Uh, it's accessible to anybody. And, and they're also growing, I think, 20 plus, almost, almost 30 employees, and, and continue to grow and expand, hiring you know, mostly, mostly tech talent. One point I want to make is that uh, roughly 75% of BC3 employees here in, in, in Columbia live in the Midlands. I mean, were, are actually from the Midlands and or went to one of the universities in and around here. Some from Midlands Tech, some from Clemson, some from, uh, but mostly from USC. We have a really strong partnership with USC. We've had for many years, roughly 40% of our technical talent uh, that's located here in Columbia were, were interns from the University of South Carolina. So that's been a great partnership. Another good partnership we had early on was with the Municipal Association of South Carolina. I don't see Howard Duvall here, but he was the executive, he's on city council now, but he was the executive director of that when we partnered with them. That was key, key to, to our growth. So the big point I'm trying to make here is you can actually grow a, a, a big tech company or any, any kind of company here in South Carolina. We do have the talent. You can do it, but, but it really takes good partnerships uh, with the local organizations, local government organizations, local nonprofits, et cetera, to, to, to really develop it because uh, we, we, we need more of it. Um, so, you know, kind of excited to, to, to hear about Van Robotics and, and recently met Laura at, at an event, so I'm glad to see them doing so well. And, and I have no doubt with, with, you know, continued support and partnerships uh, locally here that, that they'll be successful and there's no reason that, that you know, a couple years from now they shouldn't have hopefully outgrown this space and, and, and be doing, doing bigger and better things. Thank you. I'll be brief. I, I uh, had the happy honor of, of representing our CEZ board uh, and, and had the pleasure of, of being able to publicly thank David for, for his gift. Uh, David was a member of our board for number of years. He was a significant contributor to the success of, of the uh, CEZ in the time he was with us. Uh, we miss him. Uh, we've uh, uh, missed his being with us. He's, he's a, a tremendous talent and uh, he, he contributed greatly with his, his time and talent and treasure as well. To, to make a contribution like this is, is really outstanding. So David, on behalf of the board, we certainly want to thank you for that. We sincerely appreciate it. Uh, CEZ is a 501c3 nonprofit, and, and uh, we are self-sufficient, uh, and, and a gift like this uh, allows us to continue to expand the mission that we have undertaken over the years, and, uh, and, and with, with, with Van Robotics and their success, uh, continued success, we're going to uh, work with them into the future, and, and uh, what, what they allow us to do with with uh, their participation in this building uh, gives us the ability to further our mission. So it's a sort of a, a, a circle. It just goes around in a circle. So David, thank you for starting that circle and Laura for, for uh, uh, continuing with us. And uh, we'll uh, uh, look forward to great things for Van Robotics. Uh, so thank you all for being here. Again, it's, it's an honor for us to get to, to have this opportunity to thank David publicly. Uh, I think the name is is that David? We we like the name. So uh, thank you very much. It's a it's a tremendous gift to to, to make to to CEZ and and in the city of Columbia by extension. So thank you, David. Good afternoon. I'm Felicia Maloney, executive director of the Empowerment Zone, and uh, I would like to acknowledge our city manager, Ms. Wilson's in the audience, and assistant city manager um, Jeff Palin, and the director of office of economic development, Ryan Coleman. I don't know, I don't think we have anyone else there. And of course the CEZ board members here on the front row. Um, I can't repeat what Mr. McCoy said. We absolutely thank David for this gift and the opportunity to help us fill our mission of providing more job opportunities in the city of Columbia. And these are well-paying jobs, as you heard. <laughs> I'm very proud, uh, Laura. I didn't even realize they had expanded that much but if you've not seen the Abbey robot you must see the Abbey robot I wish we had one out here on on display but again I want to thank you I thank you all for being here I thank you all 
all for being here. Is there going to be an opportunity to go in? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Okay, she's going to provide an opportunity to go in uh, for you to see the robot. It's absolutely amazing. So, again, thank you. And as David said, I, I know I called him and uh, he said, Felicia, I really don't want you to do that. You shouldn't have to do that. Don't do that. And I said, well, my mother told me you always give people their flowers while they're alive. And you don't put their name on the building when, when, they, when they can't see it. So, and the sign is printed. So it, it will be going up. So we hope to see you there. But thank you again, David. We really, really appreciate you. And I must say, as a small business owner, as you've heard David um, talk about his growth in the business, this is really, really a great opportunity um, to pay it forward to another business to experience the same growth. But also, as that small business owner, can you imagine how David held my feet to the fire as a board member? <laughs> He did, and it was all for good reasons, good reasons. So I, I am blessed to have had the opportunity to be mentored by my board members and to receive their advice and to um, have them guide me as we build this organization together. Thank you again for coming. We appreciate you.